Trying to figure out the Facebook cover photo size on new Facebook? In this video, I'll break down the dimensions you need for Facebook business pages, personal profiles, as well as Facebook groups, and I'll show you which parts of the cover photo will get covered up or cropped off on certain devices like smartphones. All right, let's get into it. Hey, what's up, busy people? Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where I help time-strapped business owners get powerful social media results without the need for a big team, a giant budget, or having to post every single day. That sounds like something you want in your business. Take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. In this video, I'm going to show you the proper Facebook cover photo size for new Facebook. Now, Facebook cover photo is so powerful if you use it the right way. In fact, inside of my programs, like my 5-Minute Social Method Signature course, I show our students and members how to optimize them perfectly, and some of them get results from them in a couple of days. But of course, if you put up a photo and the people in your photo are beheaded or your most important words get covered up on another device or chopped off on the sides, eh, it was all for nothing, right? So here are the exact dimensions that you want to use when you're creating your Facebook cover photos. And if you've never created a custom Facebook cover photo before, I'll show you how easy it is using nothing more than your computer. So I create my Facebook cover photos in Canva Pro, and I've got a link in the description of this video where you can get 45 days of Canva Pro for free, and you won't find that deal on their website. But you can just start here at the top, and you can put in Facebook cover photo. There it is. You click on it, and it brings it right up, and it is already the right size to fit on Facebook. Now you can see there's a bunch of templates that you can use if you are looking for something just as a starting place. I usually start with something blank. And the size of this in pixels is 2050 by 780. Now this isn't a full Canva tutorial, but there is one linked in the description of this video if you're interested. But you can search their photos, or you can upload your own photos right here, and I've got a bunch of mine already uploaded. And it might be as simple as dragging an image in if you've just got the right image and you just need to have it the right size. I'll double click on that, drag it down so that I'm not chopped off in an awkward way there. Or it might be something like this where you want to add text or a logo to it. And all of this, if you've never used Canva, is easy drag and drop pop it in there. Then when I'm ready, I can download it and upload it to Facebook. But a couple of things to know, and I've made this easy for you by giving you a template that you can download in the description of this video. Parts of this are going to get cropped off. So this top one here is a Facebook business page, and it's 2050 by 780 to start, like I told you, but about 325 pixels are going to get cropped off on each side. So you can get this template that I've made down below and import it into Canva or do it in your own graphics program. And then on a personal profile, same thing, 2050 by 780 to start, but 350 pixels are going to get cropped off on each side. And on a personal profile, as you can see here, the profile photo covers part of your cover photo. And so through experimentation, because Facebook still hasn't announced official sizes for these, I found that about 417 pixels are going to get cropped off there on the bottom. So if you want these templates, you can download them. They're free. You don't have to put your email in or anything like that. Get the link in the description of this video. Next up, we'll look at Facebook group cover photos. And Facebook hasn't released updated numbers for new Facebook for this yet, but the old numbers are 1640 by 856 pixels, and then the top and the bottom get cropped off a little bit on mobile. Here's what I'm using, though. I'm starting with the same size I used on my business page, which is 2050 by 780. And if we look at this, you can see that the bottom is cut off on desktop, Meanwhile, on mobile, you can see that both edges are cropped off, but that space is still there at the bottom. So I know that's a little bit frustrating, but as of now, you just kind of have to design with some space that you know is going to get cropped off on the left and right sides on mobile, and then also some space that's going to get cropped off either at the top or the bottom or both, because you can reposition your cover photo on a desktop device. So those are the Facebook cover photo sizes. If you're looking for the rest of the proper image sizes, I've linked to a training that has all of them right here on the screen. For some reason, the link doesn't show up on your device. You can also find the link in the description of this video, all right? Thank you so much for watching 5-Minute Social Media. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.